Communication happens so much in athletic boosters, and the role of all those communications are important. Two that I found to be fairly important are the communications within the organization and the communication to the general public. Now, I reached out to a local athletic booster president, Matt Copeland. He shared with me some information about how they meet and how they get their information out to the general public. So first, how do they meet and how do they discuss the their information. So first they have a monthly meeting with their president, vice president, treasurer, all of those good things. They all attend this meeting. Now I was given this, which is their monthly meeting agenda. It includes their sign up, their call to the public, which will come, come into play later, and then all the points that they have to get through in the entire meeting. Now this is about five pages long, but I just chose one page to show to you. So their role of communication within the organization is they discuss information that needs to be, um, needs to have a solution to it. So they have these monthly meetings and along with that, they're constantly emailing each other in between the meetings. They have a mass email and they individually email. They always are trying to get stuff done. So the importance of this communication is that they have to be on one page as a community as a organization and the only way to become on one page and have one solution to problems is if they meet and they talk you can't go out into the public and say well half of us think this half of us think this you have to be clear to the public and that's the role of communication that the meetings serve now to the general public they have several ways that they give the information out one is flyers so this is a typical flyer that is sent out for their annual golf outing. So it has the organization, date, why they're doing it, has all the information that the public needs. So one way, another way that they um, set out to communicate to the general public is their call to the public in their meetings. So at their meetings, the public can come and say any questions, concerns, comments that they have and discuss that to the Athletic Booster Board. Also, in today's day and age, it's important to have those social media accounts. So they also have those. They have a Facebook and a Twitter, which they encourage people to follow so that they can send out the information. Lastly, I was told that this specific high school has something called Meet the Glads, this is where all the participants of sports and their parents come in and they're given a little speech about what Athletic Boosters does and when they meet and how they should get the information. Also, um, coaches, coaches are supposed to relay the information that's given at the Athletic Boosters meetings. So why is it important to have the information given to the general public? Well, that's who the Athletic Boosters are affecting. They're not affecting somebody inside athletic boosters. Those people are, are trying to help the participants of sports, and they're part of the general public. So they have to get that information out to the people that they're trying to benefit. Without getting that information out to the public, there would be no point in having an athletic boosters because the public wouldn't know, it wouldn't benefit them, and that's the whole point of this club.